Hey there, dear, dear, dear Leo. Welcome to your general weekly forecast. Remember, cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. Remember to check your rising and moon and Venus signs for a more complete picture. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box, and that can help you out with these kind of readings. Leo, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I am truly grateful. And today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Weight Radiant deck. You're going to get a Vice Versa card, and you're going to get a Crystal card. Also a new deck. Angel, they are Oracle cards. They are Angel Answers by Radley Valentine. Remember to ask your question. This is the answer. And you're going to get a card from the stone deck. You've got Labradite. Be giving you the meaning to that at the end. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. And when you get this card, it's already going to be starting to flow into the past. This is Earth energy. Mercury in Taurus. Now this is a card of struggling. It's a temporary hardship. It could be an illness or an injury. This can be struggling together with someone else. It's lacking faith in tough times or losing faith in a relationship. These are shared hardships. But these hardships are going to pass away. It's being crippled by circumstances that are temporary. It's being anxious about being able to support yourself and others, and maybe even feeling ashamed about it. You could be fearful of asking or having to rely on the support of others or charitable institutions. You're feeling some instability. Now fives are about change, and these are adjustments to changes that you have to make. This is reaching out to others and being grateful for those that have our back. These connections are what make our life special and they allow us to persevere through the hard times. Your second card and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. This can be an obstacle to your forward progress when it's a bad card. This isn't a bad card. This is a person. It could be a male or a female in a general reading. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be their sun. It could be your moon or rising or Venus. King of Cups. This is someone that's caring and sensitive. They're composed and wise. They're a healer, a counselor, a minister. This can be a doctor. This is someone that's trustworthy and relaxed, and they're non-threatening and reliable. And they come through when you need them. This is someone that's mastered the watery element. Yet they need to stay in touch with their feelings. This is working through fears that bring us into that desirable state, where we were are wishfully, wishlessly happy. And in love, maybe someone needs to stop worrying things like a terrier. Just use good judgment and fair practices and go that extra mile. This person is the perfect diplomat, and yet they show their emotions less than they talk about them. They're a wonderful counselor and advisor. They're careful and empathetic, and they're understanding, and they're a great listener. It's because he cares. The Five of Pentacles with the King of Cups is forgiveness and learning worthiness. It can represent getting help. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. This can be your attitude. Number 14 of the Major Arcana. Temperance. This can be a Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Now, this card is ruled by Jupiter, one of the Sagittarian cards. 
this is making adjustments and having to have patience. That's the Archangel Michael of sun and fire. This is compromising. It's using inner calm and tranquility. It's adapting and tempering. It's self-control and modification and working in harmony with others. It's having control over your own life and what you have imagined will come to pass. You just have to have patience. These are successful combinations being achieved and seeing both sides of a story. Sharing control. It's the vision of the new life that comes after death. It's victory over doubts and rigidities and yet advises a cautious attitude and be moderate and take the middle way. And remembering that nothing in the cosmos is but vibration and all forms of vibration can be modified by the adept. It's calm and balance and a need to have patience for events surrounding you as they play out. It's reflection on your life. It's maturity and drawing in emotions and not overreacting to outside forces. It's now a time that it's possible to overcome addiction to substance or people or relationship. It's an obsession passing. It's being the calming force in chaos. The Five of Pentacles with the Temperance card is healing. It's good news and things are balancing out for the better. Your health improves. It's restoring something. It's compromises with a loss. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. This is another Jupiter card. Leo. This is Jupiter in Gemini. Card of mind-forced manacles, prisons of doubt. Another card of a temporary durance, just like the Five of Pentacles is temporary. This is feeling bound by circumstances, but not really being confined, only thinking that way, and that thinking makes it so. It's a bondage and a fear to move out of a situation, restrictions, limiting beliefs. It's feeling trapped. This is someone that can be their own worst enemy because it's you that can change matters. When you well, on, well dwell on wrong thoughts and ideas, it will bind you from moving forward. But a sign will come to show the way. There are problems to overcome and decisions to make, and you will not remain stuck. You're just feeling like you're trapped with no way out. But there is a solution to every problem, and to remember that real freedom comes from inside your own spirit. This is being frustrated and confined and stifled, hemmed in, blind to possibilities. The Five of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords is an unexpected bill that could leave you in a bind. It's a finance or debt problem. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Number 16 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Tower. This can be an Aries or a Scorpio. This is ruled by Mars, but this is also one of the Pluto cards. That's why the Scorpio is connected to it. Now this card is always read together with card number one, the basis of the matter, so this is something that's already happened and you already know about this. It could be that unexpected bill came in unconveniently, rocked your world, the sudden shock, a dramatic change, could have brought in conflict. It was out of your control. Those are yods, like an act of God. This is a, a need to build a foundation that is strong. It has a, to do with a change and a conflict. This is an overthrow of an existing way of life and old notions being upset. It's a disruption that brings enlightenment in its wake. Sometimes it's bankruptcy. Sometimes 
It can represent someone that was had some kind of selfish ambition, and that doesn't come to anything. It's questioning beliefs. You'll need to look for weaknesses in a foundation. Where were you most vulnerable? It was a big change you had to deal with. Maybe you didn't believe that what was happening for what is for the best. You just need to let it crumble and let the light in. It was a swift and dramatic change, sometimes extremely upsetting. The Five of Pentacles with a Tower card is says you've been a victim of circumstances from outside forces and it was out of your control. And faith in yourself is needed. The King of Cups with the Tempress card represents a diplomat, a healer or a counselor. It's patience and control inside. It's taken the middle path to find meaning and balance. It's patience and compromise. The King of Cups with the Eight of Swords represents deep feelings and being stuck. It's hiding deep emotions or fears. The King of Cups with the Tower card represents arguments and sometimes even corruption. It's emotional control and it comes can come crashing down. It's an unexpected meeting, a realization and a surprise. The temperance with the Eight of Swords is most of these problems arise from our own or stem from our own thoughts or fears. This can also represent someone with an addiction. Temperance with the Tower card represents that self-control is challenged by outside forces. It's accepting and allowing a deep cleansing of a false belief. And you can temper fear with love. And there's no point in fighting it. The Eight of Swords with the Tower card is an, is an external, disturbing event over which you have no control and it has us restricted and bound by fears, but it opens our eyes. Here's your card from the Vice Versa Tarot deck by Lunia Weatherstone. This is the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Knight of Wands. And I'll read to you from the deck. Book. It has to do with the inner self. The Knight and the Unicorn face the wild lightning with no hesitation or faltering in their progress. The torch casts a golden glow to counter the white hot flashes before them. They show no sign of defeat or even caution. The real shadow side of this Knight is his appetite for drama. Well, that's the that's that tower. Lots of drama there. Facing down the lightning will make a great tale to tell if he survives it. Let others have their small safe lives. This is a person who needs an extra fire and excitement to truly feel alive. Two cards with the lightning in it like that. Very interesting. And now, here's your angel answer card. Remember to ask your question. And the answer is, choose a new direction, Leo. Choose a new direction. The time has come to choose a new direction for your life. The circumstances that you find yourself living in may seem unfulfilling, or perhaps your heart is full of discontent. You know that there is something more out there in the world for you, and you've been procrastinating following the guidance of your angels. Make a conscious choice to be the person you're meant to be. Create an action plan for yourself that leads you in a direction of your divine life purpose. Begin taking steps immediately towards a happier future. And now here's your crystal from the stone deck by Andrew Smart. You've got Labradite. Labradite, Leo. What is it? It's a field spar mineral, just like this one, one of my favorites. It's great for psychic readers, helps draw in the energies. Labradite is a field spar mineral that was first discovered in Canada's frozen north. The stone seems to hold the light of the Aurora Borealis just beneath its surface. 
this slightly psychedelic iridescent dance is known quite appropriately as labradescence. Who needs it? Adventurers exploring far off places, alchemical places, spiritual, artistic, and dreamy places, and any Pisces. Where you put it? Wherever you cast your spells, when to use it, when you've lost your faith in magic. Oh, there's the Five of Pentacles again, someone that may have lost faith. Now, this world is a weird and wonderful, whimsical, watery rock hurtling through space, and you're on it, and that makes you special. Gaze into Labradite and delight in that, and protect your magic. Thanks, you guys, Leo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.